can't kill him yet. Yeah, but we, you know, maybe the we'll hit nail like him with the kitty porn, dance. or we'll nail him with the drugs. And then it became easier to kill him. Yeah, because they were like they had the the family, right? They had enough avenues. But was that it about the octopus? Was that? Well, we can go through some more on the on the prosciutto blur blurbs, you know, about yeah. what what was found out through then. So the octopus theory also was sent around. The October surprise theory, which involved the Iran hostage crisis, where several U.S. citizens and diplomats were held uh, held hostage by a group of like what was it militarized students? Yeah, college I mean, students. Yeah, belonging to the Muslim student followers of the Imams line in Tehran. And it goes that Iran deliberately held back the American hostages in order to help Ronald Reagan win the 1980 election over Jimmy Carter. Th that's that's legit though. Like now, that yeah, that's yeah, pretty a, much fact. Yeah. And part, uh, other parts of the technical theory was uh, involved in the collapse of the Bank of Credit and Commerce International, which collapsed in July of 1991. Date coincidence? He was onto it, supposedly. Because because what that was it went bankrupt in '91. The whole fucking bank. Man, I'll tell you, like, just on a brief side note, if we want to get into some in absolutely insane, like, government conspiracy on bank runs, some of these crypto exchanges that have been going belly up in the last, that have huge, like, Democratic and Republican donation ties, that have just been, like, loan, they huge Ponzi schemes slash, like, mo money laundering schemes that are We're just being have to. absolutely exposed right now. Uh, started with FTX. It's looking like crypto.com. Uh, it might be next. <laughs> just like you know, wild shit. A lot of people but trying, the same to, thing, trying right? to make it's money like real nothing, quick. Exact same kind of shit that's going on in the, you know, with the uh, Commerce International in 91. Same thing where, where kind of history is kind of it, not repeating itself, but it rhymes. Well, yeah, they're on, they're under, what was it, like money laundering <laughs> claims. I, Dude, I'm telling you, that is what is happening. Just a, in a brief, a brief synopsis of what's happening right now in the crypto synopsis. World. Synopsis: The FTX, huge, huge crypto exchange, run by this fucking nerd and his six orgy friend nerds. Yeah, they're all banging each other. I read that. It's yeah, weird. no oversight. They had like every kind. Of, they were just paying like they were paying the de Democratic pub, pub, uh, blah, blah, blah. party. An insane amount of donations. The Republic, the De Democratic Party was giving money to Ukraine. Ukraine was just basically giving money back to FTX, investing in them. It was just this big fucking money laundering loop. And, and in at the end of the day, they were they were lying about their holdings. They had a bank run. Everyone was trying to pull their money out. Their crash to zero. Turns out they didn't have any of the assets they talked about. They had like six hundred million dollars left in assets. All of a sudden, as all this is coming to light, like the next day, they're like, "We were hacked. Everything's gone." Meanwhile, the founders like left the country. You can't hear from him. You don't know where he is. Like, obviously, he's the one that hacked the remaining six hundred million dollars. Dude, they were sponsoring the World Series. They had all their like company shit on all the World Series. Like, it's mind boggling. All these like A list celebrities that were endorsing it are like, ah. <laughs> Hey, you know what? When uh, when there's a get-rich-quick scheme, people jump on board. This is what happens. Larry David didn't. Yep. He didn't buy it. Um, uh, what what, it was also that uh, the tentacles ran deep into what the Iran-Contra affair, which mm -hmm. was another political scandal inv involving the Reagan administration supplying weapons to what was the is Islamic. How do you pronounce that? Com Khomeini? Yeah, Khomeini? Khomeini? Khomeini, government of the Islam Republic of the Iran, Ayatollah. which went just, on for just say Ayatollah because he was the Ayatollah. Gotcha. gotcha. Went on for six years it's, from eighty-one to eighty-six. But like honestly, that's if you've listened to this podcast and you and you have listened to any CIA, done any research into the CIA and stuff, the United States government have been funding rebels and and shit in countries Boys. to overthrow governments Listen. forever. Hey. We're just getting started. Really you guys want to get into yeah. these tentacles? You want to dive yeah, deep into these get, fucking get, tentacles? Yeah. More tentacles. I want tentacles. tentacles. You want to just in rub up on you? In, yeah. you? in your mouth holes? All that shit? Yeah. Mm. Suction cups. 
Hintaya. He Hintaya. also claimed that <laughs> the tentacles were involved in the Kennedy assassination. But that was just one of the many coups and assassinations pulled off by the octopus since the end of World War II. The group had come together over a covert operation to invade Albania. The octopus had overthrown Jacob Arbenes in Guatemala in 1954. It had targeted operations against Fidel Castro, culminating in the Bay of Pigs. It had also had tentacles in the political upheavals in Angola, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Nigeria, Chile, Iran, and Iraq. Like we talked in, they had involvement with putting Ronald Reagan into power with the infamous October surprise. Uh, membership within the octopus included John Siglab and the late CIA director, William Colby, who were the heads of the Phoenix assassination program in Vietnam. They had implemented an early version of Promise tracking software to keep tabs on the Viet Cong. Other tentacles included characters like E. Howard Hunt and Bernard Baker, who later emerged as the Watergate burglars. And all those things you just said are case files on their own. A hundred percent. Right? So oh. Like, oh. this is pretty much the global cabal people talk about, right? Literally. The that's what he claimed yeah, it was. The octopus. It was the octopus. Basically, the global cabal. Basically, like when he was like, when we say like the elite, right, or like the they, he was writing an article about the they. They slash them. He was right. He was writing an article talking about, about the Jim Jemersons, right? He he, look, it, it's pretty well known that these big money groups move right, like and and they they sway. They they'll sway political parties. They'll sway governments in other countries, right? They'll they'll fund things to bankrupt other things. Like I would say that that's a pretty known thing that there's these organizations that do that, and he he's just bringing one to light that's doing this in the shadows. That's what was happening in the nineties. Fucking wild. So he it, like it, he's he's deep into this his octopus conspiracy. The octopus hole. The oct- o- yeah. octopuses hole. Uh, octopuses. Yeah. He, he's staring at the beak. Oh yeah, he's yeah. No, he's past the beak, bud. He's past the gullet, all of it. He's in there. Yeah, he's in the inky spot. All that's left is his ankles hanging out. That's oh, like yeah. he's yeah. been swallowed. He's deep. But like this must have been all consuming for him. Like, can you think about like this started out as you're like the government fucked over a mon pa company, and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, hey, they're using this software to spy on other countries, and they're like. Who is? And you you start to uncover all this other shit. You're like, oh my god, this is insane. This is like, you know, at every level of government, this is getting involved in this in shady dealings, like criminal activity. Yeah, it's pretty wild. So even if ten percent of what he was looking into was true, like he's in well, well over his head, and it's perfect reason for him to be silenced, as some people say. Yeah, Epstein, as we now yeah. refer to this. Suicide. So let's. So let's go to that, because let's circle back now to the just the day before, pretty much the last time he was seen, like his, the events leading up to the night where he died. So he was last seen at a Pizza Hut when he told one of the waitresses, and he, you know, he's like he's a little being a little flirty. He liked her eyes and quoted the Great Gatsby. It's and then he went, he went on, and then he went on to meet Henry Turner at the Sheraton Hotel at two thirty, and that's where he gave him the don, uh, the documents. They parted ways shortly after. Then he spent the next few hours at a restaurant uh, where a bartender – this is the only time we get, like, a depressed a depressed Danny. A bartender said he looked depressed. Yeah, he could just lonely. be bagged, too, though. Like, you, He's the, tired. He He's, has rest, resting, depressed face. Like, uh, Brayden has I'll that. say this. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll say this. And I'll, <laughs> I'll say this. Uh, when we saw George Knapp, I would have, at the, at the you know, lunch table at AlienCon – and he pulled out his briefcase and was shuffling through about a thousand papers. I would have described George Knapp as stressed and depressed. Because he was like moaning. He was like, Ugh. Oh. Uh, sighing. Like, I'm going to be honest with you papers. right now. I'm going to be 100% honest right now. Dano, you're looking a little stressed and depressed, buddy. Yeah, Dano. Yeah, what's, 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 going, what's on? going on, man? Yeah, what's going on? We'll talk about it after. That's fine. You don't want to yeah, talk about it? It's fine. Um, so, yeah, after he got his documents, he went to the bar, 
Uh, then he was at the cocktail lounge at the Sheraton at around five. With some people. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.